So, greetings everyone, welcome back to Foxtech, which is your reliable source for all things uh, tech troubleshooting. Uh, today we're diving into a common hiccup that many of you might have faced, the frustration of a malfunctioning screen mirroring feature on your iPhone. But yeah, I'm here to guide you through various steps to tackle this issue head on, so let's just jump right into it. Now let's start with some initial steps that you can take. The very first thing uh, is regarding AirPlay and handoff settings. So you can begin by heading to the settings of your iPhone like this and then just get to the uh, general section. So go ahead and tap on general and as you are in here, scroll down and find the AirPlay and handoff. You can see it's right here in this like second section, tap on it. And as you are in here, what you wanna make sure is that you set automatically airplay to TVs. You can see it's the very first option. I want you to choose this to be either automatic or ask. Never is not really useful. I mean, you can read the description. Allow iPhones to discover and automatically connect to nearby airplay TVs and you use the frequently when playing content from apps you regularly use with AirPlay. So this is like learning your behavior when it comes to streaming or mirroring. So I want you to keep it on automatic or even ask to be prompted if you really wanna go with it. So that would be something I would turn on as first. The second thing to keep in mind is the device compatibility. Not every single device, not every single TV is actually supporting AirPlay because you always need to check if your external display, whether it's a TV or anything else, supports AirPlay feature. Look for the AirPlay icon on the display to ensure comp co compatibility. So this, this is another thing which you have to do. The next thing to make sure is if your Wi-Fi is the same as the Wi-Fi of your TV or external display. So your iPhone should be connected to the same Wi-Fi network as the other device. Like you just wanna make sure that they're vibing on the same network to make sure that it works seamlessly. You should also, as we are in here, you should also disable VPN in case you use it. You know VPN uses like a different server to connect from like a different country it may be a useful feature, but for the purposes of screen mirroring, I would recommend you to turn it off. For me, as you can see, it is disabled. So if you wanna like mirror your screen, don't really mess with the VPN. It's not really useful and it could prevent you from using it, using the feature the way that you should. The next thing you can try out is resetting network settings. So this, if you go to the general section, scroll all the way to the bottom, you can see transfer or reset iPhone. And if you get inside it, you can tap on reset once again, multiple different things, reset all settings or reset the network settings. Some glitches in the network configuration can sometimes hinder screen mirroring, but keep in mind that whenever you reset the network settings, some things like Wi-Fi passwords or the devices that are remembered in your Bluetooth section, everything is gonna be reset. So you're gonna to have to reconnect to the same Wi-Fi, but now with the reset network. So it should work well, but you need to reconnect to everything once again. Now, the next thing is the device Bluetooth. I mean, people are kind of split on it, whether you should have it enabled or disabled, but I would say to avoid interference, temporarily disable Bluetooth on your iPhone while attempting to use screen mirroring. It doesn't really add anything, so just turn it off and try it out without the Bluetooth enabled. And lastly, what you can do is to check out the software. Depending on which device you are connected to, well, the other device could also have some kind of software update available, but mainly the iPhone that you are using right now. You should check it out at first to see if there is any update available. For me, it's still checking for any updates, but you can also choose automatic updates to be enabled, which means that are gonna be downloaded automatically and installed automatically without you even having to care about anything. So there you have it, a comprehensive guide to troubleshooting and fixing screen mirroring problems on your iPhone. By following these steps, you'll be able and well equipped to overcome the hurdles and enjoy the benefits of screen mirroring. 
Thank you for joining us on FoxTech. If you found this video informative and helpful, consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel for more insightful tech solutions. Remember to hit the notification bell to stay updated as well with our latest content. If you have any questions or want to share your